With Adventure Time! Oh, wow! Oh. What's up, товарищ? My name is Kalman. Welcome to that Russian gamer guy. Welcome back to Jenny Leclu Detective, and we're on our way to Jenny's house. So let's go ahead and see what's up. House on the tree. Let's see. Our old fort. It didn't look like much, but this tree house had once been Jenny and Keith's favorite hiding spot. I could never climb up there on my own. Keith always had to help me. They schemed and planned and swore never to let anything come between them. Just thinking about him hurt. All right, Jenny. No squares. Squares allowed. What squares? What was that? Stephen. <laughs> Stephen. Stephen. What? Did you hear that? I'm telling you, man. Not this again. Something's out here. Something big. Real big. This There's is my house. There. But I'm getting some super spooky vibes, man. For the last time, Kevin, the radios are for emergencies only. That All right. Key. I need to be more careful. The house was swarming with police, but she knew this place like the back of her hand. If anyone could find a way in, it was Jenny Leclue. Let's do it, Jenny. Let's get home. Oh, I gotta find a way. It's Through the window. But Jenny couldn't risk being seen by the police. There's probably a sneakier way in. Ah, uh, basement? The window was ajar. The frame damaged. Somebody broke into my house. What? That's my job. But who? The police had used the front door. Whoever it was, that's my way in. Someone else is inside the house. Oh. To get to the basement window, Jenny would have to creep carefully past the police officer. One false move and the game would be up. No, no, no. We're gonna be careful. Uh. Crazy. Oh, crazy. Gee, here we go. My God. Oh my gosh. Hey, who goes there? Caught. Jenny would have to think fast or risk being jailed like her mother. Ghost cat. Ghost. Here goes nothing. Ooh. Who is? What is that? Wow. Stephen, please tell me you're there. <laughs> What's up, buddy? It's happening again. Kevin, please. I'm telling you, there's no such thing as There's a ghost out here. Oh my gosh, phasmophobia. Come on, man. Remember the last time you thought you heard a ghost? Yeah. And what was it really? My stomach grumbling. What? So why don't you go inside and fix a sandwich? Y yeah, um, maybe I should. Ooh, I'd love to do a sandwich. Wow, can't believe that worked. Right? She was like, ooh, improved artist. Yes, yes, achievement. I'm an artist. All right, let's sneak into the house. So here we go. Enter the Someone window. Someone definitely forced this open. Would Jenny enter the dark basement? Of course. Why would you stay outside? What was that question? It was an odd feeling, breaking into her own house. But as she squeezed through the basement window, Jenny felt a rush of excitement. I could get used to this, she thought. All right, so we're in our house's in basement. Undetected. Home sweet home. All right, let's investigate. Oh. What the heck? Who left this here? Jenny's father had never carried a briefcase, and her mother couldn't afford one. Let's see who this belongs to. <gasps> the umbrella. It's this guy. One. 
fingerprints one three he's stupid four oh my god who carries around a fancy briefcase with a children's book inside the hawk and the weasel it's the same Hang on a second book as Jenny recognized uh, the book yes She's seen a copy of it next to the dean's lifeless body yes in the library there must be something significant about it what if it's poison look at all these yellow things around the corners okay gallery yes our favorite thing gallery yeah um clues the hawk and the weasel okay this feels familiar wait 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 there's it. another clue wait no i've heard it before on the radio in the underground lab could there be a connection between the cryptic radio message and this book let's find out wait i need this thing oh rabbit 49 birth 78 oh my gosh okay rabbit is it rabbit 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 49 32 57 what oh 33 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 oh here you go okay another rabbit 55 uh that's interesting all no more rabbits oh 21 should be right here here we go rabbit so it's wolf wolf 51 uh relief okay no more wolves hawk 30 where is 30 okay it should be right here rancid whale beer bear oh my gosh beer my lovely beer okay whale 36 oh will bear weasel goose i don't have anything about goose change the page oh it's the last one hawk and weasel oh, okay weasel 23 let's see oh right here bear so we only have bear left here you go bear eight it should be here and this is oh my gosh where is it I think I'm missing a part. Oh, there. And bear 78. Alright, should be somewhere around this place. Terror. The. Free. My gosh, where is it? Oh, they. Soon they will all listen. Relive their rancid past. Sounds eerie. But from who? Could it be a message from the Dean's killer? Yeah, but it also makes no sense. Let me get this straight. Someone's broadcasting a sinister message in code, which is being picked up on a radio in an abandoned laboratory hidden in the forest. Right. And a secret to decode this message is written in a children's book, which is what? inside a stranger's briefcase in my basement all of this was true that doesn't make it any less crazy sounding but not all mysteries could be solved in an instant sometimes questions had to percolate like a good cup of coffee only then would the answers become clear i guess i'll let it brew for a bit all right, right now i need to get to my room and find my detective gear okay detective gear let's see book of secrets new achievements okay let's turn on the light here Oh, oh shit! Hey! What are you doing? Nothing. Just looking for more beer. Beer? My lovely beer? Make yourselves at home, why don't you? Right? Forget about it! 
There's more in the back of the fridge! They better not eat my cookies. Jackpot! <laughs> they got cookies, too! Hey, have we searched down here yet? You lose one game of cards and suddenly you want to search the house! Can't handle the pressure, eh? Oh, those, sir, are fighting words. You want to put your money where your mouth is? Arthurton's finest, everyone. All right, police department. There was no way Jenny could reach her bedroom without being caught by the police. Which means I can't get my detective gear. Great. But this was a basement. A veritable treasure trove of old possessions. True. Surely something around here would prove useful? Of Maybe, course. Maybe, but I can't see a thing. Let's shed some light on the situation. Right, let it be light. Here of we go. The fuse is missing for the lights. Oh my gosh, really? Oh, here we go. Oh, right here. I cannot reach it though. Inspect the desk. Jenny wasn't prone to sentimentality, but seeing her father's desk, the disorganized muddle of books, photos, and the faint smell of ammonia. More reminders that her dad was here not so long ago. Well, like a year ago. Okay. Pictures. Oh. This was years ago. I look like a kid. You are One a kid, babe. One of the rare babe. times that dad wasn't making a goofy face. He used to say, serious people make serious mistakes. Alright. That's smart. Take photo, leave photo. Take it. Just I in might, case. Uh, need this later. Yeah, who knows? Gallery, yes. Quantum tunneling. Quantum tunneling and adaptive spectral optics. Sounds like a real page turner. Dad was such a nerd. Okay. Nothing interesting about this thing, but here's the ladder. Result of a restorative transductive copolatic experiment. Oh my gosh. Possible changes after initial phase cycling and post dynamic quantum tunneling has transpired. Jeez, I don't know. I don't know none of these words, so I'm not gonna read it. Mending the molecular bonds of marriage. Marriage? Mom and dad both worked an awful lot. Jenny rarely saw the two of them together. David Lunch. Interesting. Interesting. This one test tube looks recently used. The others are all covered in dust. A small puddle of liquid had pooled on the desk. Looks fresh. Still sticky. It is purple. What? What was it all about? A field guide to fascinating flora. Written by Weiss, Felding, and... Strausberry? Oh. Did the Dean write this book? Yes. Shoe shine. I don't need it. Aren't these lockpicks? All right. Lab this explosion rocks office. town. Mom must have kept it. A tragedy believe Gumbolt University this morning befell Gumbolt University this morning when an experiment in the chemistry lab went wrong. An accident caused a destructive explosion, killing one scientist and injuring several others. The area was immediately cordoned off and no one allowed and due to potentially deadly chemicals involved. While the investigation is still ongoing, police have identified Henry Leclerc as the scientist killed in the explosion. He is survived by wife Julie and daughter Jenny. Dean Strasbury, head of the school and close friend of the Lecluse gave a statement on campus this afternoon. What a tragic and unpreventable accident. Henry was working with dangerous chemicals and it looks like he made a grave error. He was under a lot of stress. People make mistakes. We lost a great friend and a neighbor today. Bullshitting me. The Dean so, caused a lab explosion an accident. But everyone in town seemed to blame Dad. But it looks like... It looks like... Dean Strasbury is trying to hide something. Father. Fantastic, thoughtful, earnest. Oh. Today, I love you one molecule more than mom. Jenny. P.S. You promised to take me for donuts this weekend. Don't forget. It's very sad. Wait. Zoom. Should I? No. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, sticker. I mean, gallery sticker, but still. Report. Accurate inspections report. I've never seen this before. All right, complaint. On May 14th, an anonymous source filled a complaint with the university regarding the lack of proper ventilation in labs. Oh my gosh, let's read it. The equipment we have is old and frankly dangerous. Inspection of facilities revealed a dangerous and unsafe work environment. You see, Dean tried to hide Papa's death, that it's actually his fault. This contradicts the newspaper article which stated my dad made a mistake. Everyone in town blamed him for the accident. But they were all wrong. The lab was unsafe. He shouldn't have been working there. Conclusion, John Akrid, don't let anyone work in that lab. It's a death trap. Recommend immediate closure of the facilities until the new equipment and upgrades can be made. October, October 5. 5. That was one week before. Her father's accident. Oh my the gosh. The report. Someone had circled the signature in red pen. He must have known that the lab was unsafe, but still let my dad work in there? So, Any it looks like... Any mind could see it. Strong evidence linking her mom to the Dean's death. This doesn't prove anything. But it was a clear motive for murder. Revenge. Yes. My mom wouldn't do that. But who else would I'd see do it that. that way? There must be an explanation. I just don't know what it is yet. Take the evidence, leave the evidence. Take it. I yeah. can't let this fall into the wrong hands. Was Jenny sure this was the right thing to do? It broke every rule in the book. Why would she need to hide evidence if her mom was truly innocent? Mom isn't here to defend herself. It isn't fair. But however she tried to justify it, Jenny knew this wasn't the choice of a great detective. I need to buy myself some time. I can't afford anyone jumping to conclusions before I've had a chance to investigate. I mean, yeah, let's take it. I want to protect Mama. Everyone's trying to frame her. This is crazy. Okay. Okay, fuse. Yes. The missing fuse. Got it. Mm, mending the molecular bonds. Another one. Okay, we got everything from the desk. Let's go. And. Shed some light. And then there was hey. light. Jenny would need to work quickly to remain undetected. Who knows when they'll come back? Okay, but now, what is where's this? Where's the most likely place to find a makeshift detective kit? Right here. Some light. Uh let's see. Oh, here you go. A shaft of light peeked through the boxes. There's more stuff back there. Yes. I just need a way through. Let's go. Ooh, I can move this box all the way to the shelf and take this sticker or whatever the thing is. Here we go, Jenny. Just like that. It's another postcard. Well, that's cool. All right, Nikki. CSI Jenny's supplies. Have been correct. Dozens of boxes lined the back wall of the basement. There's probably something useful here, but it'll take forever to search through them all. No, it's right there. CSI supplies. I see it. Kitchen, garden, books, clothes, crime scene investigation. That must be mom's old gear. Yes. I'm going to be a real detective now. Yay. It looks so cool. Practical homicide investigation. Oh, what's that? It's not a, a flashlight. Smart, but at least it works. Not really. More or less. Okay. Locksmith. My key to the city. An old set of lockpicks. Nice. 
tucked away at the bottom of the box, something colorful caught Jenny's eye. She pulled it carefully from the container and unfolded it. This must be Mom's old jacket. It smelled of formaldehyde and fingerprint powder. From her CSI days. And so, she tried it on. All right. Oh my gosh, look at her! Yes, a real detective! Jenny LeClue detective -oo. Fits like a glove. A giant oversized glove. Mm, and it smells like mom. Her mother had never felt so close, and yet so far away. I won't let them take you away from me too. Yes, Mama. Jenny's search was complete. It's not the world's best detective kit, but it'll do. For the first time in her life, she felt like a real detective. She had a serious crime to solve. And a seriously sharp outfit to match. Yes! <gasps> Somebody else is here. How do you know? Somebody turned off the light. Men in black. Who is this guy? He looks dangerous and big. Let's go, Jenny. That was no cop. What was he doing in my house? I should follow him. Let's go. Oh shit. Okay. Let's see. Let's see where is he going. But he's Was so Jenny dangerous. Ready to follow the mysterious man in black. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. Why would I stay? For Christ's sake, they always ask me this question. The man in black. Who was he? Where was he going? There was only one way to find out. It's to follow him and see. Where are you headed, creepy man in black? But he's so big, how he's sneaking past the guards? Jenny couldn't simply chase the mysterious figure. He's bound to notice me if I follow too closely. Okay. I need to get out of his line of sight. Okay. Oh, wait. What's on the other side? Oh look, I have something here. I knew that. Here I am. It's a gallery item, of course. Okay, okay. So we're on our way. Should I go to this tree house? That's my way up. If only Keith was here to pull a ladder down. I'll just have to get it down the old-fashioned way. How? Wait, what's the old-fashioned way? Throw a stone, okay. Oh, that's dope. He heard it. And he doesn't care. It's alright. Great detective. Takes a chance, right? This ladder looks dangerous though. Sticker? Alright, sticker. Pumpkin. Alright, Jenny. Yes, Jenny Croft. I don't know why I'm telling you that anyone who's climbing, anyone who's doing this crazy stuff is Croft. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so stereotypical. Hey, Jenny, come on! Bam! Alright, let's go. Jump! What if we're already missing him? I cannot see him. Hopefully she does. There he is. The bridge. How he gonna cross? The bridge should slow him down a bit. Huh? How did he do 
that. He teleported? He's a magician. Houdini. Come on, Jen. We can do this. At least we don't have to cross the bridge again. Because we're following the other route. Oh, that looks dangerous. Don't fall. Ooh. Alright. He's the so fast. Taken the higher path towards the Almaston Bridge. That's a dead end. Why is he going up there? Because he can teleport. No hide on the bridge. He can I'll teleport. And spy on him from there. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Jenny. We can do this. This creepy forest was alienistic stuff. I like how she runs. Like, <laughs> professional athlete. Professional runner. Jenny Laurent. Walk to lake. Follow the man in black. Wait here a moment. Follow him, for Christ's sake. Why would they ask? Jenny couldn't just walk onto the bridge and blow her cover. No. She'd keep her distance and see what the man in black would reveal when he didn't know he was being watched. Okay. Let's do it, right? No rush. A great detective knows when it's time to wait. The man in black neared the edge of the unfinished bridge. His methodical movements unnerved Jenny. I need to get a better look at him. Okay. How do I do that? I'll climb the outside of the bridge and snoop on him from there. The plan was daring, but reckless. I have no choice. He's my only lead. It's gonna be cool. Let's go, Jenna. And so, undaunted by the dangers that lay ahead, Jenny LeClue, wearing her mother's jacket, advanced towards the bridge. Yesterday a child. Today, a courageous adventurer. I like it. I like her mother's jacket. How it fits Jenny. So cool. All right, Susie. Susie Q. Let's ride. Easy does it. I don't want him to hear me coming. All right. That's an adventure. This is crazy. She's so young, like 10 years old or something. And she's doing all this stuff to protect her mama. Isn't it amazing? Okay, let's climb up. That's a long way upstairs, huh? Crazy. And it's all one night. She should be probably super tired. Jenny <gasps> down for the first time. And immediately wished she hadn't. She clung tightly to the stone wall. The ledge beneath her feet was narrow, barely wide enough to stand on. One false move and... Focus, Jenny. <gasps> Perfect pitch! The hallmark of a serial killer. Maybe I can get a closer look. Hey, I cannot do this. I'm not good. You see? We should investigate. I don't want to miss gallery stuff. Because it's all over the place. Oh, here's another one. Okay, we got two. So let's go and see. I cannot whistle at all. There you are. The man in black, extremely creepy, identity unknown, likes uh, long walks in the woods and children's literature. The uh oh, oh. Humbert, Humbert? The man in black remained an enigma. Could be three kids in a raincoat for all I know. Ah! She funny. He's just standing there. What's he 
he waiting for? Standing here in an empty room, I saw you there, my blood ran cold. Take me back to the long September, don't know how I will let you go. Yes. No. Yes. No. No. Wow, this guy's a real chatterbox. Yes, it's all there. Clear as day. Who is he talking to? Okay. No, it wasn't there. What are you looking yes, for? Yes, the whole house. She must have it. What was he looking for? Mama has it. Where? Hold on. Oh my gosh. What are you doing now? He left. He said, hold on. Where is he? Where did he, he go? He left his... <gasps> What is this? I can't hear what he's saying. Mm. Let's go to this one. Yes, I'll take care of her. Tonight. They change shifts at four. Yes, it's all here. I have to see what's on that paper. To take yes, care of who? The biggest cross. I know. The biggest cross. Not the gallery stuff. Where is he? We gotta go down and try to save it. Go, Jenny! It's gonna be super to bad. There before it's lost for good. Yes. Let's go. She was only distracted for a moment, but a moment was enough. Damn. How does he do that? He's athletic. He can jump like Spider Man. I don't know. It's crazy, though. All right, so we're going downstairs to save the evidence and see what's up. He said the biggest cross and he said he gonna take care of her tonight. Was it about Mama or Jenny or Susie or whoever else? Okay, let's do it. Okay, archers, gates, pay your respect. Wait, what? Buried there, biggest cross, respect. Don't for what? Don't do what? Wait, where is this piece from? I don't know about this one, all right. Beyond the fallen angel Uh, look for the biggest cross. Don't forget to pay your respects. Jenny held the soggy paper delicately. She hadn't recovered all the pieces, but enough to discern the message. Beyond the fallen angel, through the crumbling arches, past the wooden gates. The entrance is buried there. Look for the biggest cross. Don't forget to pay your respects. What could it mean? Their directions. 
To a secret entrance. But an entrance to what? Maybe there's more in the back. <gasps> Mom? Jenny entrance to jail? Beats. She remembered the man in black's words. I'll take care of her tonight. <gasps> He's going to... Jenny couldn't bring herself to say the words. Mom's in terrible danger. We gotta save her. Come on. Thankfully, her mother was safely locked away under the watchful eyes of the police. But they cheat you shit. He won't have to. These instructions lead to a secret entrance. A way to get to the jail without being detected. But where? Biggest cross. Here we go. Uh, find clues. Here we go. The entrance is buried there. Buried? The word bounced around her brain like a pinball. Where did people bury things? Graveyard. The graveyard! Smart. Of course. The graveyard was in the same part of town as the jail. Angels, arches, crosses on graves. All features of the graveyard. I have to get there before he does. I have to save my mom. This was all well and good, but even if she was right, even if she managed to reach her mother before the man in black, how am I going to break her out? Jenny, Jenny, come in, Jenny. What the? Who said that? Jenny, is everything okay? Ah! Haunted boat! Jenny, are you there? In the boat! It's me! Susie! It's Susie Glatz! At the helm, a small walkie-talkie fizzled with static. Jenny reached into the boat and picked it up. Jenny! Are you there? Susie! Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried about you. Did you get home safe? How did you know where I was? The boat has a tracking device. Of course it does. It was at this moment a rather distressing thought popped into Jenny's head. As loath as she was to admit it, she needed help. Uh-oh. You said earlier you wanted to... Yes? You said you wanted to... Do something for me. Help? Of course. Anything for you, friend. Okay. Meet me at the graveyard right away. The graveyard? But it's nearly midnight. What if I get caught? It's urgent, Susie. I don't know, Jenny. I don't think I can do it. But you wanna help or not? Nah? Damn it, Susan! You can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs! But what do you need me for? My mom's life is in danger, and I'm the only thing standing between her and death. Do you really want her blood on your hands? <gasps> no! Good. Then meet me outside the graveyard as soon as possible. Okay, okay. Whatever you need. <gasps> I'm, there. I'm thinking practical but colorful. I don't care. Just bring your silent explosives. What? What do you need explosives for? I'm gonna break my mom out of jail. Whoa. Set insane. It's so crazy. Okay, no, we're back no, to no, no, no. the rider guy. I am an artist. He drunk. I will not be dictated to by some pin pusher in an ivory tower. It's too long, too violent, too dark. These are my characters. Okay. So why does it feel like they're rebelling against me? What do you mean? All this fighting, all this drama. And for what? Jenny and Susie should be best friends by now. Girlfriends? Maybe it's time to wrap this one up. End on a happy note. Yes, let's fix this nonsense once and for all. Let's do it, why not? Rufus doesn't You're care. You're right, Rufus. First, I need another drink. Oh my gosh, he drunk. Arthur Tone. Jesus. Another piece of art. Another one. Yes. Collectibles. Jenny. 
tower who is this guy this old monsieur all right what happens next graveyard rescue mom too dangerous our should be full of joy or happy ending super fun sunrise exotic new locations focus on friendship yes happy ending sure happy ending That's it? Yes. Of course. I knew I'd make the right choice. Oh my gosh, really? Convenient closure. It was another glorious afternoon in Arthurton. The sun was shining, the birds were singing, and two best friends had settled down for a spot of tea. What perfect weather for a picnic. The weather is always perfect in Arthurton. And another mystery solved. The Dean's alive and everything is back to normal. Just as it should be. More bubblegum tea, Jenny? Thank you, Susie. I'm so glad everything turned out so well. <laughs> You're my best friend. I'm a sugar pain, click a calypse. Help me with your sweet love. Kill me with a kiss. What? Wait, this isn't right. This is... No good! Uh-oh. That was so funny. It's no good at all. Okay. This one can't end like the others. They won't publish it. I must write something different. Something darker. Let's go to the day gra graveyard. Of saving her. I'm sorry, Jenny. You'll see your mum soon. But for now, it's got to be the graveyard. All right, let's go. Let's go, graveyard. Was the man in black the Dean's real killer? Without any evidence, Jenny couldn't be sure. A great detective never made assumptions. The most important thing was getting her mum to safety. And to do that, she'd need to beat the man in black at his own game. That ending was so much fun. They were talking like this, like robots. I'm a robot, baby. You've been acting waffled off lately. Events had taken a dramatic turn. Jenny's head buzzled with questions. The road ahead was fogged with danger. And Jenny would never need all her wits to survive. Things for sure. I'm gonna need to be very quiet. All right. What the hell? What? Hi, Jenny. I'm here. And I brought snacks. This is a covert mission. Could you draw any more attention to yourself? Sorry. I just wanted to get here as quickly as I could. Did you bring the explosives? Yes. Of course. Et voilà. Merci beaucoup. Now remember, explosives are incredibly dangerous. Danger. Yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. Hopefully, it'll be enough. Okay, I'm here. What's the big emergency, Susie? What is she doing here? Uh oh. Keith, you came. You invited him. I thought it'd be a good opportunity for you to talk. About now what? hardly the time. I can't bear the idea of two best friends never speaking again. It's too sad. What's wrong with you? I should go. No, Keith, wait. There was so much she wanted to say. But she had ruined the Dean's funeral, embarrassed Keith in front of the whole town. Worse, she hadn't been there for him in his hour of need. She wanted to tell him all about the Dean's ring, the man in black, and the mysterious room buried in the forest. But none of it would bring his father back. Sometimes the right thing to say was also the hardest. Okay. Apologize, don't apologize. We might be dead by the sunrise, so I'll I... apologize. I... 
I'm... sorry. Poor Keith. Angry, grieving, conflicted. His whole world turned upside down, and the one person he most wanted to confide in, he couldn't. I really should go. Goodbye, Jenny. <gasps> oh my god. Well, that didn't go exactly as I planned. Are you okay, Jenny? Ignore confront. <laughs> what the hell were you thinking? I just wanted to help. Well, you made it worse. Friends need each other. I was just trying to be a good friend. Less harsh, more harsh. Well, you're not my friend. <gasps> now let's get back to work. Whoa! That was harsh. All right. Let's see if there's anything on this side and then we'll open the gate. Yes, of course there's something. Wow, Jenny sometimes she's so rude. Like Mamma Mia. Okay, sticker. Um Cool, I hear some strange noises. Ugh, locked. I'll locked pick. Or we could just wait for an adult. And let the man in black get to my mom first. Are you trying to sabotage everything? I just don't see why we can't tell the police what we know and let them sort it out. Because, Susan, the police are incompetent. I'm not putting my mom's life in their hands. Besides, for all we know, it could be an inside job. Now, keep a lookout while I open this lock. Yes. Let's do it. Here we go. My new... kit. Oh, here we go. Just like that. Gee, look at me, professional lock picker. Oh, maybe not so professional. Yes. So cool. Eerie. Bye, Are Jen. You coming, Graveyard? There's no time to waste. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm just, um... I think I need a minute. Oh my gosh, there's no time to waste. Call her out, let her off the hook. Uh... I don't know. Why don't you wait here and keep a lookout? I'll go on ahead. I've got the radio if I need your help. That sounds like a great plan. Thanks. Radio me if you see anything suspicious. Especially if you see a man in black carrying a briefcase and a blue umbrella. All right, briefcase, Ella, umbrella, Ella. Got it. Lock the gate behind me so no one suspects anything. And keep out of sight. Here, don't forget the explosives. Oof. Jenny had broken in undetected. Now she had to find the secret passage that led to the jail. I just need to follow the clues from the photograph. I'm coming for you, Mom. All right, let's go. Journal updated. We're on our way. All right, graveyard. Wow. A guardian of the graveyard cast her stony gaze over the burial ground, watching over the departed, protecting their peaceful slumber. Why must everything in a graveyard be so well, creepy? It's actually course, pretty this guardian cool. Had wings. It's an angel. an angel. There are lots of angels here. Which one is the fallen angel? Well, Satan? I guess he's the one. The Strasbury Mausoleum. Amongst the fresh flowers was a note. Beloved what does it father, say? educator, and botanist, your memory will forever blossom in our hearts. I'm sorry, Dean. Don't worry, Mr. Strasbury. I won't rest until I found your real killer. Yes. Okay. So. Um. Let's see what is this thing upstairs. 
Inspect the crack. Looks like it could collapse at any minute. You wanna use oh. you wanna use explosives? Examine door. Four discs of solid granite with something carved into the face. It's all scrambled up. I'll just straighten them out. Yeah. But try as she might, the discs wouldn't move. Oh, okay. Another piece of art. Oh, is this a password? Look. Wait, let me take a picture of it. Alright. I got a picture. Uh. Wait. Did I check everything? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Right away. Sticker. That's a beautiful sticker. Um. First one should point down. Right? Or maybe I cannot use it. Then it should point. This guy should point down. That's great. Hey, Dad. I can't stay long. Mom's in trouble. And, well... Jenny tried to be brave. But the past few days had taken their toll on our hero. And finally, it all poured out. Everything's falling apart. I wanted a real mystery to solve, but... I didn't think it would be like this. Dean Strasbury's dead. Everyone in town thinks Mom killed him, and Keith won't talk to me. I don't know who to trust. And now someone is trying to kill Mom, too. I have to save her, but I'm not sure I can. Why did you have to go and die on us? It was a really crappy move. I wish you were here. Poor Jenny. Oh my god. Okay. What about this guy? Looks like it might move. Oh, okay. Okay, so this guy should point down. Right? Yeah, it looks like it. Let's leave it like this. Oh. Uh, let's see all the other ones. Here's another one. He should point up. And he's doing it. But I kind of think he should actually point to this guy. Yeah, let's leave it like this. Just in case, you know. Uh, Cause this last guy, he's pointing to the grave. So maybe that's the right uh, way to do it. I'm not sure though. We'll figure it out a bit later. Read sign. the earliest settlers of Arthurton. Okay. They kickstarted our great town's growth and prosperity. Okay. Examine graves. The note had read, look for the biggest cross. But none of these graves have crosses. No matter. Perhaps there were other secrets to find here. Okay. I mean, gallery art secret? What exactly? Mathieu. Sticker. <gasps> Vacancy rent to own. Oh my gosh. Uh Disco buried far below the ground. Kendra Condona. Jerome. Here we go. Only his nickname was Floppy. Oh my gosh. He raised Ada, please say hello. Oh my god. This is crazy. Oh, wait. What is this? It's green. But I cannot do anything. Alright, I don't know what it is about. Maybe later. Uh, another guy. Okay. 
so we have one that's pointing straight this guy probably should point up so let's leave him like this and maybe there's another statue upstairs beneath the fallen angel or what was the thing inspect ladder and there should be something here hey come on I was doing it right yeah it's a gallery item how am I gonna get up there right um so we got one that's pointing straight will it work now or maybe he should point down uh I don't know I don't know okay so this one is pointing that way I think it's right uh What about... Maybe they all should point to the grave. This one is pointing the same direction. So it's good. I don't know why it's examined graves. This thing right there looks like Star Wars or something. Oh, uh, so now we should fix these two guys. Which way is... Uh... Okay, so just one left and then they all gonna point to the grave. Maybe it's the way to solve the puzzle. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Arthur, King Arthur, that's cool. So yeah, the thing is that they all have to point uh, to the grave. Now I can move it. Or maybe not. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Shit. Okay. Hey. Got it. Some days you just feel super smart. Yes, I am. Jenny studied the stone discs. Now perfectly aligned. It's the face of a badger. That's unusual. Whoa. <laughs> My heart. That's crazy. Something tells me this isn't a tomb. Alright. Alright. We're gonna continue in the next episode. We're gonna be a real Jenny Croft Tomb Raider. Uh, as for now, we're done. Don't forget to drop a like, write a comment, subscribe to this channel. See you next time in the tomb. Bye.